Hi guys, it's Mad Dave here from Mad Balloons. Um, as you know, confetti balloons are all the rage at the moment. And uh, I did some confetti balloons just the other week. And anyone who saw that uh, post that I did on my Mad Balloons Facebook page, 21st of September, great confetti balloons. Thanks for all the positive feedback that I got. And also the questions that people private message me. So rather than answering them one by one, I thought I'd go through the process and show you how I make my confetti balloons, how I spread the confetti evenly, how much high float I used. These were some of the questions I got. So I'm just gonna run through the process with you now um, as to how we do the big three foot jumbo confetti balloons. So I've got my Diamond Clear Qualitex balloons. I always pre-inflate these balloons before I put anything in them. I wanna make sure that this has no defects um, before I start working with it. So I'll take the extra couple of minutes to pre-inflate that. Let's do that now. Always wear my safety goggles. I like my eyes in my head. Now as you can see, I've blown this pretty big. Um, I wanted to inflate it bigger than when I put the helium and the confetti in it, just to make sure. So I need to check, roll it round in the light to make sure there's no defects. Try and not put too many fingerprints on it. And that seems to be okay. Now when I'm um, putting my high float and my confetti in the balloons, I don't use the um, Konzuka or the Chris Adamo uh, tool or anything like that. For me, I drop things and I break them. And I would get one of those and I would be on site and I would drop it or break it or something would go wrong. So I need to keep it really simple and really easy. So the tool that I use is this little claw here. Um, I originally got it in my Conwin balloon bulb set. It's to stretch the balloon to put the bulbs in. I believe that you can buy them as a single item now. Now I've got my balloon ready to go. It's all nicely stretched. So I put my balloon in so that the nozzle is in the bulb of the balloon. As I press down, I'm moving the balloon down as well. One complete press. Okay, it's quite a lot, but I like to make it nice and juicy in there. And I'm wiping the nozzle on my way out. Alrighty, making sure there's no high float there, no residue, and then I can see in the balloon there's lots of high float in there and I just start massaging it around. I'll do it in my hand a bit for you so you can see. Usually I would do this on the bench. So I put it down and I just work it around a few times. Now you can actually see where the coverage is. You probably can't see that on the camera but I've got high float to there. Okay, I don't want it up in the neck of the balloon because that's going to be a pain but I want to get it there because I want the confetti to stick all the way around the balloon. So I've got my high float up in that area of the neck, as well, sorry, not the neck, just the edge of the um, edge of the bulb. Now I'm going to roll this down. Let's get rid of our high float. I'm going to roll the neck all the way down to where the bulb is. And then this is where I put it on my little claw tool and stretch and stretch. Now so far, we're high float free. Alrighty. Now for these large balloons, I want to put 25 grams of high float, 25 grams, 25 grams of confetti into the balloon. I've just got a little, used to be my son's um, little lunch container. Alrighty, so don't tell them that I'm using it, but I am. Okie dokie, so we're gonna do magenta, and gold for a ladies party tomorrow night okay 13 grams and then we'll get some gold as you can see highly technical here fantastic there we go all right 25 grams good show excellent so i've got a nice amount of the confetti I pull the neck of the balloon out, okay? I just use my weight and lean back on it like I am now, and then I tip the confetti in, just like so. Okay, confetti is in the balloon. 
Now I get my safety goggles back again. Now this is where I you do it a little bit differently. I keep the neck rolled up. I'm going to put that on the um, cool air here and I'm going to use this machine to spread the confetti around the balloon. As I inflate, watch how I rotate the balloon and it allows the confetti to spread all the way around. So pop it on. Okay, so we've got a nice even spread of confetti through that balloon. Now, what I want to do, I can't put that much air in the balloon, helium, and hope that it's going to float. So I'm going to reduce the size of this balloon to 45 centimeters on my slide and size tool here. So I just hold it there, and I let the air out, and it gets to about 45, and I stop it there. Still nicely spread and that's going to save me some money on my helium usage. I've got my digital split second size set up over here. It's on 1.5 and the pressure on the back is just below 80. I'm going to inflate the equivalent of 10 11 inch helium filled balloons into this to get it to the size I want which is about 70 centimeters. That's about 27 and a half inches. Okay. Um, I set it onto 1.5 and not straight up to you know 10 seconds or whatever because even though I've checked it, if it does still pop, I don't want to waste gallons and gallons of helium. Alright, now we're still happy with the spread of the confetti through the balloon, still nicely evenly spread and I bring it down onto my slide and size and it just touches the sides beautifully. Okay, so there's our 70 centimeter, 27 and a half inch balloon, ready to go. Now our lady chose gold metallic ribbon for her balloon and she's also going to want some collars on there as well. So we're just going to unfurl the neck now. I want lots of neck to tie with. Okie dokie. I always pull mine nice and tight as well. Alrighty, so we've got that, that's good to go. You can see the confetti's nicely spread. Now obviously, I'll chop off the neck, we'll put on a nice collar, pretty it all up, make it gorgeous. But I just wanted to show you the amount of high float that we use and how I get that good spread. Now that's also got plenty of uplift, okay? So even though I've put air in it to cut down on the costs, increase my profits, it's still got plenty of lift. This part is not till tomorrow. This is going to sit here in my workshop overnight. And then tomorrow we'll take all eight of them to the party. They'll all look gorgeous. They'll all be floating and they'll all be fabulous. Okay. Um, I'll also do a 16 inch balloon now as well. Okay, so now we'll do a 16 inch balloon. I call them confetti puff balls on my website. Um, and they're a great confetti option as well. So this one I'll do in uh, rose gold confetti. Now the amount of confetti that I use for a 16 inch balloon is only 10 grams. So I'm not sure what that is in ounces. Uh, 25 grams for the big three foot and 10 grams for the smaller one. Excellent. Now again, um, I'm going to inflate my 16 inch balloon. Nice and big. So I can check it to make sure that it's free of defects and that looks pretty good to me. Fantastic. Now I've um, jimmied up some of the high float um, clips. This is a yellow one but I've cut it shorter. Okay, so I guess that's about a bit over half a pump, something along those lines. So again with my 16 inch, I'm going to push that in there. Push down around the balloon. Now again, I roll the neck. Okay, so it's rolled down like that. And this also fits onto my 
Conwin tool, my three-prong tool here. Okay. Same as the three-foot balloon. Stretch it open, nice and big. Pour in the confetti. Now it takes a little practice, but again, we're high flight free. Okay, so this is a great thing about that. I'm gonna use this again to spread it around. Alrighty. Now because it's 16 inch though, I'm gonna let most of the air out. Okay, it's starting to peel off the side of the balloon now, so I stop there. Back onto my digital split second sizer. Okay, and we've got nice coverage around the balloon. Now I should have prepared the ribbon before I did that. You've got a couple of options. You can use um, a nice piece of the rose gold metallic ribbon, if you like, okay? Or quite often what I'll do is I will, um, I don't want to use the thick ribbon because I think it's a bit too thick, so I like to tear it in half. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to tie that there now. Okie dokie. Yeah. I'm probably not going to put a collar onto this balloon um, just because proportionally it's not going to look so great and also the weight could be a bit of an issue. Okay, so I'll make sure that, um, that the balloon is looking nice and neat. I'll chop that neck off there. Okay, and then hopefully we've got that looking gorgeous. Okie dokie. So yeah, so there's your 16 inch um, with the amounts of high float, the amounts of confetti, our big um, gorgeous three foot balloons over here as well. Hopefully that's answered a lot of the questions that people had for me. Um, I don't do 11 inch balloons with confetti. A lot of people do, and you can, that's fine. I just choose not to. Um, Basically, I can't make enough money from them. So I'm not gonna worry about doing those smaller ones. I like to do these big ones and these guys. And as you can see from my website and my Facebook page, uh, we sell heaps of these. They walk out the door. So yeah, good profit items um, and items that you know you can get together pretty quickly with a bit of practice. Um, once you get the hang of it, yeah, you'll be able to knock them out in no time at all. All right, hopefully that's been helpful. If, uh, if it has, great, if it hasn't, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but if you'd like to leave some comments below or start a conversation, you've got any more questions, do let me know. All right, thanks very much. Have a good time.